everyone. Uh, my name is Yuvia and I'm here because I have been watching a lot of videos on booktube for a while and as an avid reader I've been like really immersed in a lot of videos here and I just really started itching to like possibly start my own depending on what people think but um yeah so I just I thought I would go for it and I want to go the full way like I don't know I've just been really it's been a while since I've been able to like read and read a lot and so now that I'm like reading a lot again uh I want to start booktube I want to get a I want to start a bookstagram like I just want to go full force so yeah um, I'm originally from Texas and I moved to New York City rather recently uh, which is why I only have these books on my bookshelf so far my bookshelf back home in Texas I, it's just filled with books and I have multiple bookshelves and you know so yeah I would I thought I would start my first video with the top five books I read in 2018 so far so so far I have read 16 books in 2018 and that's like more than I read in a while back home in Texas and there's just really hard to read back home so I'm really excited that I get to read more often I should probably get started so the first book is the first book that I read this year and it is I am not your perfect Mexican daughter by Erica L Sanchez Oh my gosh, so my mom sent me coupons and I bought this book with one of the coupons because one of my friends really recommended it and then I read it and I absolutely fell in love with it and being of Mexican descent, I relate a lot to the main character. Um, I also know what it's like to, you know, go against what your parents want but still want to please them because they are still your parents and feeling like your older sibling is like the perfect child that your parents wanted and you're just not living up to your like their standards so overall it's just it's really it's really great um, I'm just gonna breeze through these really fast and I can go into more depth if you are interested in learning more about these books but I thought I would just do like a quick intro kind of video to me um and just excuse like the archaic video I'm filming off of my iPhone right now and I do not have any fancy editing software because once again I just moved to New York City um but anyway let's keep going the second book is the second book that I read this year and it is The Disaster Artist My Life Inside the Room the greatest bad movie ever made by Greg Sestero and Tom Bissell if you have seen The Room you need to read this book because it gives so much insight into what it was like making that film and it's absolutely hysterical and you just learn it's just it's just an adventure but it's a really fun adventure and you get thrown into this world and being a an actress myself like I just I feel for what Greg went through but it all worked out for him in the end the next book I don't actually have with me because it was a library book but it is Black Dahlia Red Rose by P Pew Eatwell something like that but it's um biography on the Black Dahlia, uh, the Black Dahlia murder and everything and it, I had heard about it but I knew absolutely nothing about it before reading that book and it was a very, the way she wrote it, it was very narrative. It felt like you were reading a fiction book but obviously it's a non-fiction book so it was very engaging. It wasn't just like fact after fact after fact and you know you get bored. Um, but it was really interesting and I had a recommend it even even if you're not that interested in the Black Dahlia murder because you know why not the next one is actually a play this is people and places and things by Duncan McMillan and my roommate gave this to me for Christmas and um, there was a show 
a performance of it here in New York in St. Anne's Warehouse in Brooklyn and I did not get to see it she didn't get to see it but she bought me the play and I absolutely love it it is one of the best pieces of play writing there is out there so if you are an actor even if you're not an actor read it explore your horizons if you're not an actor but I don't know I really enjoyed it and lastly this is the book that I most recently read so I'm like freaking out about it I just want to talk about it so bad and that is Vicious by V.E. Schwab so it says on here that V.E. Schwab is a best-selling author but it doesn't say that this book itself was the best-selling New York Times best-selling book which I'm just like if this book went like this book was published back in like 2013 yeah 2013 and this book oh my gosh it is so good and it blows my mind that this is not a best-selling book because it absolutely deserves to be and once again if you want me to make a video going into more depth about all these books just let me know but I, I don't even I just I finished reading this book and I was like I don't even know how to describe it it was like book lovers paradise I loved it I absolutely loved it one of the best books books I have ever read period and oh my goodness just check it out like check all these books out but check it out <laughs> bye